Do you believe a vacuum cleaner can lift a car? To take on this challenge, the first step was figuring out how much suction a regular vacuum actually produces. Tests showed it could lift about 5 pounds. The hose opening was only 1.75 square inches, meaning it could lift roughly 2.8 pounds per square inch. That means, in theory, to lift a 2,800-pound car, you'd just need a lot more surface area. And since a car has about 1,000 square inches of potential suction area, the math actually checks out. So now the question was, could they actually pull it off? They started by building a suction attachment an 8-inch PVC cap connected to a hose, which would then connect to the vacuum through a manifold. For a quick proof of concept, they grabbed a 50-pound iron weight. When they flipped the vacuum on, something amazing happened. The suction cup held the weight firmly in place. The theory worked. The next step was to build 40 suction cups, placing them on the roof, trunk, and hood of the car. Each suction cup had its own hose, all feeding into a giant manifold connected directly to the vacuum cleaner. To actually lift the car, each cup was fitted with a threaded steel rod attached to a support frame hanging from a crane. Once the vacuum was turned on, the crane would lift the frame. If the suction held, the car would rise. If not, it would drop right back down. To save time, they had already built the 40 suction cups in advance. At the test site, they installed everything and swapped in a more powerful vacuum to boost their chances. They turned it on, positioned the suction cups, and the crane began lifting slowly. The car actually started to rise, but then the cups lost grip and the car dropped back down. Upon inspection, they found the hood had a curved section that caused the cups to pop loose. They replaced it with a flat hood and tried again. Same result. The closest they got was lifting the back of the car about an inch off the ground before it slipped free again. It was clear. PVC suction cups weren't the ideal material for this job, so they redesigned them. The new suction pads were large wooden boxes made from plywood with wheel well sections shaped to match the car's curves. They added rubber seals for a perfect airtight fit. Three of these wooden suction boxes were placed on the car, creating a suction area of 4,000 square inches, enough to lift 11,200 pounds, more than four times the car's weight. Then came the big test. They switched on the vacuum and the inside of the boxes quickly became a vacuum chamber. The crane lifted the frame and the car actually came off the ground, hanging there for a full minute. For dramatic effect, they raised it as high as they could, then shut off the vacuum. The car immediately crashed to the ground, completely totaled. And just like that, they had successfully pulled off the incredible feat of lifting a car with a vacuum cleaner.